so not too much is left off so let's continue so in this step I we will talk about disable firewall so if we go here it is server services we can see like an image of what we see here with one exception here you see firewall D it is CentOS integrated firewall and here is SB its service started at boot and state so there are two options first you enable it and configure correctly the second way which I have like selected for myself it is disable this service on boot because there is one more firewall which is integrated in the Gloxa Emer in, and in fact I don't think that this service is right like where it needed so I disable it why it is important if we you don't disable it on boot after you restart your Gloxa Emer home server it will not be accessible via putty because firewall is not configured correctly because I want to say that this video guide is like for basic uh, understanding for basic level so let's go further uh, we have done this okay and the main add of course if we want to see if our server is really working we must add the main but before we add the main we must uh, like I can put it here configure the NAS template this step is very very important if it is not done then our server will not work correctly what I mean of course we will now go and see small preview here on the working uh, server we select the NS template and here is working the NS plate template like here if we if we look here which what is important uh, are important two records this one base base a record this is local IP and this is record very important it is our outside IP because if you want your websites to be accessible via the internet which will run locally on your home server then this record without this record your server uh, the DNS will not work correctly so what we do here when we go here and home we must go and create the NS template and it is one of the prerequisites your server to work correctly so we give our template a name for example test uh, let's look here primary server primary DNS we can like paste here our created fully qualified domain name we put it here then we press add here we look, below we see test DNST go here and like you see by default we don't have uh, this record so we must add it by ourselves when this IP address will be your IP address which you your internet service provider gives you so how to do it we press here add a it's a record here we paste our IP address we can copy from here base so we put it here press add now you see that we have one more a record of course 
if you want to fully understand how it work you can like Wikipedia it or Google but this is my video main purpose is how show how to make it work but not to, uh, to tell a lot how in fact for example the main are working so here when we are also very important is we must select general settings and for our service and domain to work we must select SOA name sir what is SOA record you can like Google what is SOA record we press update if we don't do it in general settings our domain will not work correctly in this fact what we have we have the main template configured so we go back here and one more step we can add the main the main in fact it is interesting that we have we can add to the server the main which were re registered for example here and hostname you see this one the main but it doesn't mean that you can go here to the mains and add this domain name confirm test and press add when we do this uh, step we will add like the main name folder on the server for this domain and this step what what we need further in this step we can like write uh, done and the next thing is port forwarding if you don't know what is port forwarding on your router you can investigate it a little bit in the internet maybe what I would like to show you how is port the two ports how we port forward them and of course here you below see that the main is added but next thing, if we want to be our <coughs> server uh, domains accessible and other services like email and FTP, of course we must port forward. Uh, when we need port forwarding, we must know which is our server AP address. I also want to give you a small preview. When I was setting up test, test uh, CentOS OS and Clocks IMR, I like have uh, photographed now I see that server IP address is 8823 here is its MAC address so what is also my like recommendation on each router each router model port forwarding is realized maybe it will differ a little bit I have at home my critique so here is very simple that one of steps when you want to work with your server is make static IP address. In fact, it will be local static IP address. Next step is IP firewall. For example, what we see now, I have two servers, they both are running. These uh, websites, like this website, and this is placed on my old server but I want to try open my new <coughs> new domain name which I have registered for free here so if I want to open it when I enter I, uh, I will see this page this page means that my server is not configured correctly and what how to fix this issue I go to my router I go where is port 80 it is for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS and here I need like change IP address how to do it is some some inspection in the port forwarding so I go here I will copy my server IP address, go to the routing, change it to 
to my new server address okay port 80 I can do the following also with port 443 which is HTTPS apply OK and what I get from this point uh, from this point well if we go back here then domain is registered when we go back here and now refresh this uh, site we see this this uh, uh, link shows us that our domain name is success successfully configured so one will if you will follow my guide if you see this page then everything's great for example you go back to your server for example ftp um, no file file manager it is web based manager here is our folder test we have created for this domain name and next thing of course would be great then we could ftp our server then we could do like upload our files that we need of course i can show it but uh, but it will take a lot a lot of time and maybe if you like this video you can put in comments uh, like instruction uh, tell us please how to correctly configure ftp on the clock cmr and i will do separate videos for this so at this point uh, this is okay creating dns the plate it is a copy it is done setting up ftp i maybe like show how it works on my original server here you see this is original and for example uh, if i go file zilla i just show that it is really working but if you want how to do it then please put, command, put commands So this is, here you see, a lot of folders, each folder is for uh, each domain, so you see that DNS or FTP also works. In fact, if you want to check if your FTP is working, you can go here, server services. We also can do it here, server services. <clears throat> we will wait a little bit. Here is it is loaded. And you see this service, which is FTPD, pure FTPD. It is running. It means FTP OK. But for example, for, by default, FTP uses 21st port for it. And if I go in my rotor configuration, I see port 21 and it is configured to my this server. It is local IP address of this server. If I go here and go FTPD, I also see that it is running. And then I can go here FTP users. But before I go to FTP users, I also must like configure FTP here. Here is the default port. So waiting for your commands. Uh, these were like the basic steps to make your clock summer up and running. Thank you for your attention.